Well, oh man, this is a difficult situation, you know, for the people that's involved. You know, I can only imagine, you know, what they going through. You got Dwayne Wade, and now Snoop won't be outdone. You know, his son's out here wanting to walk, you know, he want to get on the runway. And I don't mean like he working for TSA or somebody, you know, directing planes on the runway. He wants to walk the runway. Gave up on football and wanted to do the runway. Now, two years ago I heard this and I didn't believe it. Now it's all coming out. It was an abrupt end to his football career. And then Cordell was never really seen again. People was like, what happened to Cordell and him playing football? Like, what happened? And somebody told me some things, and I never said it because I didn't believe it. All of this confirms it. Confirms it 100%. So I'll let you fill in the blanks. Let the chips fall where they may. But can you believe that? You know what I mean? Can you believe that? I must say I'm shocked. You know, because you would think, like, okay... That's Snoop. You know, we look at the father and we's like, okay, well, Snoop is this guy. You know, it ain't, it's kind of different. If you look at Wade's situation, you know, Wade's all into that fashion world and dressing weird himself. Or where people be like, man, I don't know, that's a little too tight, Wade. And, you know, the people that he bring around him. You know, fat, most of those male fashion designers, you know, they, they're not, most of them are not straight. And you bring in and expose in that kind of world to your children. This is different. This is Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Only thing he gonna be exposing his kids to is some sticky, sticky, icky, icky. Ooh, wee. You know, that's what he exposing. So to find all this stuff out was shocking for me. But, you know, typical Snoop, he came right in and said, you know, I'm going to take responsibility for it. And he did just that. You know, I mean, he just, not responsibility, but stood by his son. Because, see, that's the hardest thing to do. If you, anybody in this game, the hardest thing you could do in this game is to, to stand by something that you yourself may or may not believe. Because as, as a father of your child, can no one else be the father but you? That's your job. You are, you are the father. So no one else has that job but you. And the decision is 100% on you. You're their first hero. Everything comes to you. So if they do something or go in a direction that you're not with, You know, that's got to be rough. I wouldn't want to wish that on nobody.
You know, he supported his son uh, on the runway, and that's that. You know, a lot of people wouldn't understand it. You know, it is what it is, but... It's his son. You know, we see Snoop one way, and of course we're going to feel like, what's going on here? But, one thing I can't tell somebody is how to parent their child. That's what we can't do. We can't tell them how they should be parenting. It's up to them. Stay kid. They got to make that decision for themselves. But I also believe, just my opinion, mine only, is that being a parent, good parent, don't mean always giving the child what the child wants. Giving a child what he needs is also essential. So, telling the child, I stand on code, conduct, and honor, and I'm not with certain things. And even if the child goes his way, say, you have my blessings, but this is where I stand. As a man, this is where I stand. If you want to do that as a man, fine. That's your choice, and that's with you and God. But over here, this is what we do. So we differ. That's to me, is the harder decision, to stand on your principles And don't bend them for anybody. To me, that shows more backbone. The easy way out is to say, go out with you, son. Whatever you want to do. It's almost like a cop out. But, like I said, to each his own. Unless it's your child, you probably wouldn't understand. It's a very difficult thing to do. So how you feel about a situation may go differently when it's your child. You know, if I had a son and he came up to me and said, Hey, Dad, I want to dance. And throw a right cross and knock him clean over the table. Oh, wait a minute. I can't say that. No, I got to say that for Patreon. <laughs> I mean, here's the football. Here's the basketball. Here's the baseball. <laughs> you finna go out for sports right now. <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. Just adding some levity to the, to the uh, conversation. So, that's all that's new that's been going on right now. You know, everyone's been asking me about Snoop and his son. Like, why? Why is he doing this? What do you want to do? It's what he wanted to do. Can't fault him for that. So on that note, oh, love, peace, and hair grease. 
I'm finna take a nap. <laughs> I wake up in about three years after getting some sleep in my system and some water. I'll be all right. Hopefully you guys get a notification. And don't forget, hit up the cash app. Carcino's the name on the cash app. I would love to see some of you guys donate. And shouts out to Harold. I did get your donation. Thank you. And to everyone else, I hope you like the uh, Nicki Minaj pictures, photos. Told you Nicki was naked before. Yeah, I ain't believe me. Patreon, baby. We can't, we got it cracking. And I'll put four videos up here. So in case you want to continue the party or the show, you can. And I'm going to go lay down. Good night.